The Duval County School District is under fire again tonight over a bullying incident involving two Ocean Way Middle School students. The girls involved were supposed to be legally separated but wound up on the same field trip together. Now the victim's attorney wants to know why. Action News' Leslie Corsi is live at School District Headquarters on the South Bank. And Leslie, how do they explain this? Well, I just spoke with a district spokeswoman who says that the district has not been notified of any violation of a court order. But at the same time, area Jewett's attorney wants to know how this was allowed to happen. This is new video obtained by Action News showing another fight involving the same so-called serial bully that beat up 14-year-old area Jewett. Let her go. Let my hair go. I'm going to give you five seconds to let her go. I'm going to call the police. I got my hands on it the same day we spoke to Jewett's attorney about what he's calling a gross oversight by the Duval County School District. It's mind-boggling that this can happen. John Phillips tells me Jewett and her 14-year-old attacker somehow wound up on the same field trip together just two weeks ago. Ago. Here's a girl again with aggravated battery charges pending, hanging out with how many people's kids? Those aggravated battery charges stem from this fight in March that put Jewett in the hospital with serious head injuries. I didn't even know it was coming. The bully was arrested, and in a landmark decision by a local judge, the bully was banned from all Duval County schools. Then an appellate court came back and allowed the bully to go back to school, just not Ocean Way Middle. Still, the bully is supposed to stay away from Jewett, and yet Phillips says she was seen within striking distance of the girl on the same school-sanctioned, taxpayer-funded field trip to an Orlando theme park. The problem is they're overprotecting the bully. They're making sure she has rights to education. You know, they're, they're, they're filing affidavits on, on her behalf in an appellate court. They're doing everything to make sure that she gets her right to education. Meanwhile, they're absolutely stripping my, right, my client's rights to a peaceful education. Again, the district says it is not aware of any court order violation. Meanwhile, Phillips says this case could likely end up in a lawsuit. Reporting live on the South Bank, Leslie Corsi, CBS 47 Action News. Thanks, Leslie. And Phillips is offering a $200 reward for other videos of Jewett's attacker.